Okay, so a couple of people have asked questions, so here's a quickie. Uh, Mary Ann S. asked, oh gosh, almost two weeks ago now, um, to do a Putin's future. So I'll do a full Celtic cross on Putin's uh, future. But also, um, Nicole Gilroy had asked about the um, the lion's um, head mask uh, in the back there. So um, I'll tell you about that quickly. So what happened is many years ago, probably 21 or 22 years ago, I was living in downtown San Francisco and had a vacation to uh, Rio de Janeiro a few times. And I was walking down the street in uh, the Archie district uh, where I lived. And uh, this shop had all these handmade uh, crafts in there from all over the world. And uh, this is made of hemp. Well, that, that let me say, where am I pointing? That is made of hemp. So it's rope. And uh, it's all twisted and tied together. And the top is kind of hairy and furry. And I walked in there and the uh, uh, shopkeeper explained to me that that was uh, made in Brazil. So I was interested very much uh, because I've been to Brazil and really loved it there. And it was a different time then than it is now, uh, 20 something years ago. So, um, so I bought the darn thing. It was way too expensive. I really couldn't afford to to spend the money that I spent on it. And I've had it all these years. And I, Nicole asked if it's part of a costume. Well, I have used it uh, as a costume. Uh, it's pretty uncomfortable, but you can, it's open in the back, so you can kind of tie it to your head and wander around. And you can see because of the uh, the hemp uh, uh, crocheting, I guess you would say that that is. But it's got marble eyes and a nice lion nose. And I've just had it all these years and I've had maybe one or two uses for it and thought it'd be interesting to stick it up there uh, for these videos for you folks to kind of look around the room and see something interesting. So anyway, thanks uh, uh, Nicole Gilroy for asking about that and Marianne S. Now we'll do Putin's future. Wow, interesting. The tower card and the devil card on the top of those two stacks. So yeah, Putin's future. Vladimir Putin's future. That's a pretty open-ended question, but we'll ask that. And uh, But first, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, so Vladimir Putin's future, Vladimir Putin's future, Vladimir Putin's future, very interesting. Let's do, like I said, this will be a full Celtic cross, but we'll start out with six cards, Vladimir Putin's future, six cards. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six, Vladimir Putin's future. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. So the signifier card for this Vladimir Putin's future is, uh, wow, so this is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. I mean, Pentacles don't usually mean money, but this kind of probably does. Uh, and so this is a very for fortuitous card to get and uh, it just shows uh, Vladimir Putin's future is um, starts off as a signature card of generational wealth. The challenge to that then is a wheel of fortune. Well, of course it is. Uh, so one has to wonder uh, how long uh, his uh, fortune can, um, can, you know, continue to be uh, good for him anyway. The base of this reading for Vladimir Putin's future ah, is heartbreak. So the swords are um, truth, justice, rules, and law. And of course, uh, this being the base of a, of a reading for Vladimir Putin makes perfect sense because anything associated with him, really, uh, truth, justice, rules, and law are suffer a, a huge blow in Vladimir Putin's presence. So this heartbreak, I don't know so much that it's his heartbreak over those things, but it certainly is the is a, a, um, a karmic heartbreak for those points. Truth, justice, rules, law, heartbreak as the base of this reading for Vladimir Putin's future. And the past in this reading, then, is the Nine of Pentacles. And yeah, this, uh, of course, the Nine is the fellow in the royal court for me who will fight for whatever cause he's been given. Putin is fighting for that almighty uh, dollar, really. Or what is it, ruple? In the sky of this reading is the King of Swords. The, yeah, the King of Swords. So this is truth, justice, rules, and law. But I've got to say, to you that for me with uh, Vladimir Putin I think this is just his heavy-handedness with those uh, with those elements 
the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross for Putin's future, ah, it's a hard road to hoe. Yeah, so wands are uh, actions, plans, uh, a forward movement, but you can see that this is a very heavy bundle and an awkward position to be moving this bundle forward for Vladimir Putin. So the likely outcome, although it looks pretty good for him, uh, it's all a uh, will of fortune, uh, truth and justice suffer at his hand. Uh, he's going to fight for that uh, pedicle. Um, he's heavy handed with truth, justice, rules and law, and um, it's a hard uh, path for him to take. Now let's see, we're going to need four more cards to finish up this uh, Celtic cross. Vladimir Putin's future for Mary and S. Okay, the first card out of the rank to help finish that up. The very self of that question, Vladimir Putin's future, is this five, six, seven of cups. Cups represent uh, passion, compassion, heartfelt, it's emotional. And the seven of cups is often referred to as the um, illusion and delusion card, okay? And so one thinks of a magician and uh, or having lots of choices uh, to make uh, in that, uh, in your, in this situation. So the self of this uh, question about Vladimir Putin's future is literally what form of illusion or what choices he's going to make towards that end. You've got the devil, you've got a laurel wreath for prosperous uh, outcomes. You just have everything. Okay, so that's the significant uh, self of that question. The environment that that's in, Vladimir Putin's future, King of Cups. So, uh, hmm. Cups are passion, compassion. It's an emotional ride, and Putin uh, plays on those compassions uh, with his uh, um, citizenry. So, yeah, he is the king of those emotional um, um, plays uh, in this illusion and delusion. The hopes and the fears uh, for this, for Vladimir Putin's future, is, look, it's a great big offer of money. I mean, he has got the wealth of a country uh, that's filthy rich with oil uh, in the palm of his hand. So, yeah. He's going to be fine. And then the uh, likely outcome, Vladimir Putin's future, is right here. Well, get himself out of troubles, out of troubled water. So it looks like he's pretty much like Donald Trump. He'll find some fortuitous way to maneuver himself through this truth, justice, rules, law uh, towards some uh, more comfortable um, situation. So it doesn't look ominous particularly for Vladimir Putin personally anyway. You really make a big difference. Thank you.